The heavens bring down water. The water flows for nearly a thousand kilometers, nourishing life and making planet Earth such an interesting place to live in. Nevertheless, access to safe water and sanitation still remains a big challenge in Africa, partly due to inadequate resources and explosive population growth. In the bid to combat this challenge, the African Development Bank developed the Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Initiative to provide basic water supply and sanitation services to people in rural Africa. Uganda is one of the countries that has benefited from this initiative. In 2005, the bank approved about 60 million US dollars as a sector budget to initiate the project in between 2005 to 2009. These funds are channeled from central government to the local governments, which implements through the private sector. Rocheche Gravity Flow Scheme in Isinjiro district is a protected spring site. The program support has secured and managed to supply water to 17 tap stands located in various downstream villages, bringing life to the people. So water is collected from this water collection chamber, and from the collection chamber, a transmission line takes water into the main reservoir. From the main reservoir, water is distributed to tap stands, which are located within the villages around. Rushere town in western Uganda has about 2,000 inhabitants. The town has experienced rapid growth after water was piped in. This proximity to safe water has improved the sanitation and promoted people's livelihoods, especially for the water vendors and other business entrepreneurs. Mrs. Knight Robwana runs a small hotel lodge in this town. A year ago, her business was closing down, but with this timely intervention, she knows very well that water is a lifeline to her business. All my white bed sheets had turned to brown, and people are complaining about the color of the bed sheets and other things, especially the towels. They thought I was a dirty woman, but it was because of the dirty water we are using. Just water from the dam, brown, so brown. And in fact, even at times, you could not get that brown water. But since we got this water, I have improved my services. The project has introduced partnerships between the community and the local government through the support of the bank, where each household contributes 40% and the ADB-supported government grant contributes 60% to construct the rainwater harvesting tanks for domestic use. Just as Asimwe's home is one of the households that has benefited from this partnership. He is pleased that his standard of living has improved. So some time back I was fetching water from the well, and which is not clean water. That well is purposely for cultural use. I appreciate the government which contributed towards the construction of this uh, tank, which uh, reduces the task of work at my household. To improve hygiene and sanitation levels in school, ecological sanitation toilets have been introduced. These toilets are user-friendly and reduce the health risks related to sanitation and human waste. Statistics show that hand washing with soap reduces diarrhea and other diseases by 40%. In this school, hand washing is now a trendy way to reducing diseases associated with poor hygiene standards. We had the old toilets, they were smelling. The, the toilets for boys, before boys were entering, they used to remove their shirts because of the smell. When they entered the class, the whole class was smelling the toilets. But for Ecosan, it has no smell. To the new toilets, we wash our hands, and it's good in sharing what we eat from the canteen. We cannot get any disease. Community ownership and participation in rural water supply and sanitation systems is key to the sustainability of the program. This provides local solutions and effective sustainable management by the communities and improved coordination at the local government level. This Boaho serves Mukono Town Council, the, the villages Mukono Lower, Kauga and Upper and across the road. The most users are the workers and water vendors come here and take water to the users. 
and we have a water user committee. Per vendor, they pay 3,000 per month because they sell jerry can at 300 shillings. But uh, per household, they pay 1,000. That user fee is used to maintain the borehole. When it breaks out of that money, the treasurer invests the meeting, they buy the spares. Supply chains of spare parts for water supply have made their way to this local town of Iganga in eastern Uganda. Mr. Mohammed runs hardware store. He supplies the surrounding districts with spares and repair services. This way, the flow of water in the villages is maintained. <laughs> My business has been here for 20 years. Now I deal with the water supply accessories. I supply around Iganga and four other districts. Household hygiene and sanitation improvement campaign has taken root here in Carrillo district. The idea is to promote hygiene practices in homes by supporting and encouraging communities to construct sanitation facilities and keep clean home environment. Mr. Godfrey Sabaidu proudly takes us round to see his newly refurbished home. I have my granary, the food store. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We use this one to put millet and even other food stuffs. Yeah. This one is my uh, ranking plate. When we are washing our plates, we wash from here. So here is the washing part of it. This is my latrine. After using the latrine, we we wash our hands here. Mm -hmm. We get soap from here, and then we compress this one, and then we wash our hands after using uh, the latrine. Our homes are now very clean, and now we are now developmental because the money we have been using to take our children for treatment, we are now developing our homes, and now we can welcome the visitors very warmly, and now we are very, very, very happy indeed. Generally, ADB support in collaboration with other donors has made impressive impact in making rural water supply and sanitation outputs in Uganda quite significant. These outputs are largely contributed to ADB, but of course there is contribution of other donors which contribute the other uh, 30 to uh, percent or so, or 15. We increased coverage from 61% in 05, uh, 06 to 65% in 08, 08, 09. Uh, sanitation moved from 58% to 67% during this period. The number of people served, absolute number of people served, uh, was about 2.4 million. Honorable Maria Mtagamba, the Minister for Water and Environment, acknowledges African Development Bank as one of the top development partners supporting the sector. We really feel very, very grateful to the contribution of the African Development Bank, especially in the last financial, the last two financial years, 2007-2008 and 2008-2009, because in those two years, the African Development Bank contributed near over 80% of our budget and I think that was tremendous. And we think that with uh, continued support from the African Development Bank, we may be able to get our, our targets of the Millennium Goals. Despite these developments in rural Uganda, there are challenges that stand to be flattened. However, ADB's response to the African Water Vision and UN Millennium Development Goals seeks to accelerate access to water supply and sanitation services in rural Africa with a view of attaining 66% access to water supply and sanitation by the year 2010 and 80% by the year 2015.